Hey, what's going on, NFL fans, Atlanta Falcon fans? This your boy, Antoine Smith, 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 Sports Machine. Y'all know I get down. Y'all know how I do it, man. Press that subscribe button. Also, press that notification bell to get my videos as soon as I drop them. Also, press that like button to help me get my videos through the YouTube universe. Greatly appreciate that, as always. But quick news. The Atlanta Falcons have cut Brandon Copeland, linebacker, um, off-season signee. It was kind of a surprise to everybody, man, because I thought this guy was the locker room guy, the glue guy, the guy to keep everybody motivated. As you know already, he's a college professor. As he went to an Ivy League school, Penn, uh, so he's in his ninth season in the NFL, and he was an undrafted free agent, so he knows what it's like to you know go through these tough times. But I think uh, it was most of a surprise to me because I felt like that they could use this guy in so many ways. Uh, he can rush the pass from the outside. He can um, come in and passing downs. A uh, special teams guy. And I think he's just that type of glue guy that every team needs. Now, I know he'll bounce back somewhere because he's that type of guy. Still only 30, 30 years old. Uh, has NFL experience. So, I wouldn't be surprised if Bill Belichick came calling again. But a locker room guy is a guy that all NFL teams need. Um, but he's had a pretty good career, solid career, um, 117 tackles, seven sacks. Uh, so he's he's got his time in, man. Uh, 30 years old, as I said, and I know he'll bounce back somewhere. But Brandon, Brandon, Brandon and Copeland, salute, man. I hope you bounce back, and I know you will. And let's be honest, he has a, he has a legit career uh, after football is over because he's a professor and he teaches financial uh, literacy. So um, that's always a plus. But to replace him, the Falcons boost up uh, James Walters to the active roster, uh, another special teams guy. Um, you look at uh, his career already, um, he has 23 career tackles, a sack and a half, and he's been around the block. Uh, recently, the Chicago Bears, uh, who the Falcons have a couple of defensive um, I'm sorry, a couple of coaches on their coaching staff who used to be with the Bears, so they're pretty much uh, familiar with this guy. Uh, he's also a CFL Grey Cup winner back in 2018 with the Calgary Stampede, 58 tackles, 11 sacks up there in the CFL. So this guy has the veteran um, veteran president that you need, uh, either if, if he can come in on defense, on pass rush downs or special teams. Um, he just has that type of um, motor. And he's only 28 years old, so um, they get a young guy that's been around for a while that can compete, and uh, James Valters get catapulted up to the active three-man roster. Salute to him. But those are my thoughts on those two topics, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think by dropping those comments in the comment box. Let's debate. Let's have fun as always. It's your boy Antoine Smitty Smith, Smitty Sports Machine. I'll holler at y'all later, man. Peace.